The agreement in principle between big business and big labor establishes a system for foreigners to come and work. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce and the AFL-CIO agreed to allow a specific number of what are called low-skill workers where and when the labor market needs people. A new type of visa would allow employers to recruit outside the U.S., setting specific wage levels, not far below what American workers are paid. And after one year, the immigrants could petition for permanent residency. The deal gives a boost to the so-called Gang of Eight, four Republican senators and four Democrats who've been struggling to craft a comprehensive bill. Last week, four of them visited the Arizona-Mexico border to look at strengthening security. As for people who have already crossed over, Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer of New York. People will be legalized, in other words, not citizens, but they'll be allowed to work, come out of the shadows, travel. The overall bill will likely include waiting 10 years for a green card, providing the right to live in the U.S. Citizenship would be possible a few years later. Full details may be unveiled soon after Congress returns next week. But already one of the Republicans in the gang, Marco Rubio of Florida, warns against being hasty and secretive. Another Republican, South Carolina's Lindsey Graham, says a deal has been reached. It controls who gets a job as to the 11 million. They'll have a pathway to citizenship, but it will be earned, it will be long, and it will be hard, and I think it is fair. Supporters of a new immigration system hope to move fast, but even if Congress does pass all of this and President Obama signs it, as he hopes to do this summer, uh, Jeff, the new guest worker plan will get off to a slow start, 20,000 visas in the year 2015. Dan Raviv, thank you.